Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Once again, we got another one that is hot off the track. And I'm going to give it to you uncut because we have individuals running around making false claims, false credit, and false statement. Propaganda, I would call it. But anyway, I'm going to give it to you for the first time by a real one, not someone who just want to take credit for something that they never done, don't know nothing about, wasn't there, didn't get no first-hand, second-hand, third-hand information. They just want to make assumptions. And here goes the real deal, Holyfield. The fall of 76, Little Vince of Pyru Street, fired on the Compton Crip inside Pyru Hood on Central Avenue and 135th Street. And melee jumped off inside the building, and a gunshot point blank took place. The bartender from Ludus Port Paru was killed during the melee by friendly fire, which was from his family member, not Lawrence Walker, from Lantana Block Crip inside Compton City. Crip Sag and Melly Mel want to give Lawrence Walker the killing of bartender because Salty from Grandy Crip was killed a month earlier Kev Mack and Melly Mel was told personally by Lawrence Walker himself that he had nothing to do with the murder of bartender. There's no newspaper saying Lawrence Walker was responsible for killing the bartender. He went to YTS and still there's no newspaper saying that he was in YTS behind the murder of the bartender. Well, let me put it like this. You know, Uh, Inside a newspaper, bartender family member was arrested and released because someone made a statement to the police about the incident. And I would tell you this, and I would tell you this over again. If it's not in the newspaper and it don't have nothing to do with the police saying or speaking on it, because guess what? People talk, man. You know, the only reason why they let the guy go because he passed the polygraph test. So we're going to leave it like that. Bartender was killed two months later in December of Dula. Yeah, I was in Nellis with Lance Walker from Lantana. He, he was the one in there on that. Okay. Uh, and and who, who, did he say something? Did Baker say somebody else killed Bartender? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what all the mix up. I don't know what all the mix up. I had people telling me that. I was in Fred C. Nellis on Madison, God, with Lance Walker, homie, from uh, Lantana Block, man, and he was convicted for the killing of Lyle Thomas, man. He told me to haul it. Because I told him, man, I told him this to his face. I say, cuz, if you had a known bartender personally, homie, I said, you wouldn't have killed him, cuz. I say, because cuz was cool. That's my Zach Burns the land. Lance, rest in peace right now. And he was a truck driver hmm. living in Riverside. I just want to say this about my brother, Melly Mel. Let's not play games, Melly Mel. Too pretty Kenny and yourself been trying to get me to do an interview with you. But no matter how many times you beg for me to come on your platform, I refuse. This year and last year, you have been begging me to come on your platform. Number one, you are a two-faced individual, brother. First, you interview me speaking on the subject about BJ in the courtroom. Then you interview BJ speaking about me. Okay, first time, shame on you. Never again, though, brother. It would be shame on me. Guess what? You are a wannabe, brother. You want to be like me, a real one. A fake cannot never be a real one, brother. Everyone know who I am from Compton to the east side, to the west side, to the north side, to the south side. I never even heard of your name, brother. Nowhere on the streets in the 70s. You know what I'm saying? I think you blossomed in the 80s. 
Because in the 70s, man, I never heard nothing about you. I heard about Bitter Dog Bruno. I heard about Mr. X. I know about Weebo and all of them. I know about Jody from Atlantic. I know all the Comptons, man. You know what I'm saying? I heard of them and know about them. But your name never popped up nowhere. Not on the walls, nowhere, my brother. So how are you going to get a real one like me to come on your platform? So is that why you upset at me? And talking about Hans Hancho, because I was on the bicycle trying to handle my business for my homeboy Ray Boys. So now you're going to use that as an excuse now to try to assassinate my character? Bruh, make your own history, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you have no history. That's why you want me on your history station. But I'm like, hey, check this out, man. Let me keep it real with you. Gangster from Santana Block himself said, you never even had a pair of khakis. Never wore a pair of khakis. I already know your type, my brother. You was nothing but a drug dealer. That's all you was. You was never a gangbanger. You can't even tell me one fight that you had with a real power rule, brother. Just name one. One fight that you had with a power rule that everybody know of. That everybody know a reputable power rule that you had fists to cuff with in high school or junior high. Name a reputable don't name nobody imaginary. Name somebody that everybody know. You want me to tell you why you can't, bro? Because she's a fake. You just want to ride off the coattails of everybody else and get paid off of it. You know what I'm saying? But you're not finna manipulate me and use me as your guinea pig and as your, uh, what they call it, a cash cow. I'm not your cash cow, my brother. I make my own money off of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody like you to capitalize off of me, brother. So, no, I would never, ever come on your platform ever again. I don't care how much you try to assassinate my character. I'm still not coming on your platform, Mr. Postman. So you can take that to the mailman and to the bank. And I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay. Now I want to ask one more question. Why is it that... These brothers get on here and talk about they were game banging in the elementary school. I don't understand that. I don't know no one in my lifetime in the 70s or the 80s that was game banging in elementary school. Who was y'all fighting against? The principals? Fifth graders? Sixth graders? So you telling me high school and junior high school had y'all with them going to night parties and drinking and fighting and everything, huh? Y'all beating up swans and everything, huh? Shooting at power rules in the sixth grade, huh? So y'all was really banging, huh? Come on, gangster, cut it out. Come on, Tony Stacy, cut it out. There's no elementary school cribs, okay? Cut it out. Stop it. And I'm going to leave it just like that. If I was 15, 16, y'all was in elementary. At that time, Frog, you my witness, uh, being a bounty hunter, we didn't let anybody get in the game. You couldn't be in no elementary calling yourself a crib in the early 70s. It wasn't happening. And we didn't let anybody get in the corner pocket. It, they didn't have no hands. Like the poop up niggas who want to join. Get your faggot ass out of here before I slap you. So guess what, my brothers? All I'm going to say is God bless you. And guess what? Many more to come from me. Because guess what? The Beast Cruiser is not the only hood I've been in. I've been in front hood too, bam. I've been over there. I know your homegirl. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's her name? Her name is Arnaz and Denise from Wilmington. And 134th or 132nd, I been all over there, man, kicking it with them. She tried to get me jumped on over there. Yes, I was on the bicycle then. I think that was probably like in 78 when I went over there on the bicycle. I never did a drive-by in my life. Never did a drive-by. I don't do drive-bys, you know what I'm saying? And it don't matter how much money an individual have, that don't mean nothing. Anybody can still get got, no matter if there's a billionaire. Did President Kennedy get killed? Huh? Did he get sniped? Okay. Huh? What about the Pope? Did somebody ever shoot the Pope? Now he wear bulletproof glass around him. You know, did Bobby Kennedy get shot by Sirhan Sirhan? Okay. Huh? What are y'all tripping off of, man? Anybody can get got. Even yourself, Melly Mel. Even me. No one is invisible but God. No one. Everybody can be touched. No matter how much money you have 
or how big your house is or how long your car is. That has nothing to do with it. Because guess what? This is a free open world. You can get caught slipping anywhere, especially back in the 80s and the 70s. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody tripping, man. But I know one thing for a fact. Everybody from Nickerson Garden know who I am. Everybody in my year in a 75, 76, 74, 73 know who I am. Just like I know Too Pretty Kenny. I used to X him out. Yeah, I used to X him out in 73. He's a real one, man. You can't take that from Too Pretty Kenny, man. You know what I'm saying? He even tell you, ain't nobody game banging in elementary school. You can't hate on that man because he's an original crip. You know what I'm saying? It's always the fake that want to hate on the real ones. But it's all good, though, because the real going to keep being real. And guess what? You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time because the real ones know the real ones and the fake hang out with the fakes. I don't mess with fake people, and that's the reason why I won't come on your platform. So keep hating on me, brother, because I got more stories of history that I can tell until I don't know how long because I was about it, about it. You know what I'm saying? And it's 50 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So guess what? I'm not going to get up here and incriminate myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go out backwards. I ain't stupid like some individuals get up here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say nothing that's going to get me locked up. You know what I'm saying? So one thing I would say is, God bless and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, he been with me all this time, ever since all them gang banging activities. Yes, I've been shot up too, and that's going to even come out. I'm a survivor, brother, because I'm a real one. And guess what? Been down now, now that I'm a real Christian, God loves me as a real Christian. Just like my homeboys used to love me as a real G, now God loves me as a real Christian. And that's why I'm still here living all right with a family, a wife, my own nice spot, my own cars. I'm doing okay. I'm not hungry for nothing. I'm not on no drugs at all. I am clean, and I will be 66 July the 1st. Praise the Lord.